What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be sharing some highlights of Raging Bolt from my Global Challenge 2 run. This Raging Bolt is insanely strong. It is max 252 special attack modest with Terra Electric and Life Orb and Protosynthesis Boost from the Sun and Helping Hand Boost from Torkoal. This Thunderclap will knock out basically anything that doesn't resist it and a couple things that do resist it. Anyway, let's see it in action. Okay, Double Genie, Ensign, Urshi, Amoongus, and Golden Go. Um, Tailwind plus Golden Go is something to worry about. Incineroar is something to worry about. Getting up Trick Room may not be possible against Golden Go. Man, Ogre Pond seems really good, except for the Incineroar there. Raging Bolt would do really well if they went with Golden Go and Tornadus. Raging Bolt's just good in general. Maybe Bolt and Ogre Pond in front? Or could Ogre Pond be in the back? Maybe Ferrigarath in front? Try to get Trick Room up? For Torkoal? If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, and then we got Ogre Pond. That's the way I'm gonna go. Okay. Locking that in. Do 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 do. And you do have a trainer card. Cool. Pretty good one. All right. Show me the. Oh, it's Dershifu and Golden Go. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Because Ferrigarath now has a choice. Either go down to the Wicked Blow or go down to a Make It Rain. I'm not too scared of Golden Go with what I have in the back, though. So, let's Thunderbolt you. I don't see any harm in trying to Trick Room. I'm like, sure, I'm not gonna get it, but this forces them to double the brick grab. Because they, they would have to cover for me Terra Ferrying there, and so they're gonna make it rain. Right? Yeah, there we go. That really hurts! Yeah, you're specs. Ow. Oh, that's crit. That could be crit and specs. And Urshifu is gone. No, oh, you choiced or something? Alright, well, that was a trade. Not the best of trades. Now they've got... It's Incineroar. Ah, I was worried about that. Alright, would they want to swap out their Golden Go here? I don't think so. I could make a funny play. Terra Electric Thunderclap, bring in Torkoal. It's a little risky, but I think it's worth it. Because they fake out the Ogre Pond and just go for another Make It Rain. That seems like a pretty safe play for them. Ogre Palm to swap first anyway. <laughs> Torkoal is on the field. We get the sun. We get the protosynthesis. Oh, and they swap Golden Go. I do no damage here. But I get to see that their last is just a Moongus. Okay. Ogre 
Pond in the back. I don't hate seeing a Moongus. So it's the Ogre Pond endgame. So we Dragon Pulse and Helping Hand to that Dragon Pulse. No. Why am I Dragon Pulsing? Well, in case of the Rage Powder. Well, Thunderbolt's probably better. Let's see how much damage this can do. I don't think they would Rage Powder here. Yeah. Woohoohoo! Bye! Never liked you anyway. Alright, and then they spore the Torkoal. And they'll use Rage Powder so that I cannot Thunderclap them. Ogre Pond is immune to Spore and Rage Powder. It's still, it is the end game. Can't risk it. Is it worth Protect? This turn. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. And then I'll just throw a flamethrower at Golden Go. Uh, no Terra from them. Just Rage Powder. Torkoal's mandatory asleep this turn anyway. And it was just Shadow Ball. Okay, they know better than the lock into Make It Rain. Well, now you could be in trouble because Torkoal could wake up. Make sure I can't thunderclap your golden go. But I could try thunderbolting it in case you make a mistake. Uh, you're definitely gonna shadow ball the raging bolt this time. No question. So maybe I get a one turn wake and knock out this golden go. Oh, that's interesting. They didn't go for a Rage Powder. I could have clapped! I could have clapped! Man. Okay, but this is fine, though. <laughs> Just a little bit of chip on Torkoal. Wake up, Torkoal! Yay! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Poor little Amoongus, all alone, with Terra. But I have a grass move if you Terra, it's fine. I don't really see how you're gonna win this. Ivy Cudgel, and... I'm gonna click Eruption. If I get Spored, I'd rather uh, wake up sooner. So I wanna go after the Spore this turn if it's even what's happening. No, they just cancel. Yeah, that's a good cancel. Good game. Good game. Another Dondozo with Landorus, Iron Hands, Golden Go, and Tornadus. If I go Bolt for Rigorath, I could maybe blow up Golden Go if that's their lead. I can prevent Iron Hands from faking out. Can't do anything about Landorus' existence. Then I want Fluttermane. I do want Fluttermane. Torkoal really doesn't help against Dondozo. It's good against the rest. No, not Tatsugiri. Even Tatsugiri on its own can handle Torkoal, though. Ogre Pond's good, too. I don't know who my last really should be. But Fluttermane and Ogre Pond can both outspeed Landorus. 
outside of Trick Room. So they could maybe do something. But with no sun. No trainer card. Dondozo players don't like having trainer cards. Those eyes. <laughs> uh, Dondozo and Landorus Lee. That's not something I've ever seen before. Alright, I have a Rillaboom swap in potentially. They could double for Rigorath. Would that even get the knockout? I'm gonna just protect Trick Room. And I hope that if you double for Rigorath, it doesn't succeed. I would like to beat this Dondozo. Alright, Bolt Protect, no swaps, no Terras. Sandseer Storm. Connects. Does so much damage to Ferrigarath. Oh my goodness. Not cool. Not cool, man. And then Earthquake from Dondozo. I see. Does a Helping Hand Dragon Pulse take Lando? Yes, it do. Can I commit to that? I think I have to. Ah! Mm, swear words. All of the swear words. All of them. Every single one. Hmm. Even the very specific ones that only apply in a niche circumstance. Even those. Oh my goodness. Oh my. And they didn't even Terra. They didn't even Terra. If I live this earthquake... That's a big ask. We both live the earthquake. They're not tearing for some reason. I have to hope that reason is they're not going to. Okay, we would Terra first. They didn't Terra. And they're getting Thunderbolted. Oh, I think that takes it. Dozo's down. Dozo's down. A lot of damage has been done, but Dozo is down. Yes. And Bolt is still alive. Not much life left on that life orb, though. Tatsugiri's base speed. Eighty-two. Do I need to thunderclap it? I don't want to. Protects. Fine. We'll at least get to see the speed tier between Tatsugiri and Bolt. Alright, the Tatsugiri's faster than Bolt. 
And Muddy Water misses. Farigarath. Okay, we get to keep Farigarath. Thank you for your service, Bolt. Hopefully we can close this up. Set Trick Room. I targeted badly. I targeted correctly. And then I threw a Dragon Pulse into Protect. Last turn of Trick Room. I vote blow up the Landorus. Who would their last be? Well, I don't know. Golden Go is kind of scary. Do I commit Helping Hand or Psychic just in case they're poison? Does that even knock them out if they're poison? Is letting Tatsugiri throw muddy waters and lower my accuracy gonna come back to bite me? Uh, who knows? Lander is swapping. Into Iron Hand. Booster Energy Iron Hands. I don't know if you take this double up. Okay. Iron Hands is down. And an Icy win. That takes away one of my favorite options, which is Icy Winding their Landorus into a High Horsepower. Four turns of terrain. I think I Grassy Glide Dazzling Gleam. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, they could be Terra Poison. And they would pop it here. I still think that's what I need to do. Oh, it's Tatsugiri. Into Steel. Get the Grassy Glide, that's good. Landorus should be gone. Okay, good. Very happy. Come on, Tatsu. Terrorblast Tatsu! Oh, we ate that. Nice. I'm cool with that. Woo! a cool tech. Grassy Glide. Doesn't quite do it, but Dazzling Gleam will. Good game. I beat another Dandozo. Hmm. Hopefully that will be the momentum I need to swing into the end of this. Beating a Dandozo. Let's make that the last Dandozo. Thank you. Okay, Tornadus, Urshifu, Fluttermane, Chiyu, Glamora, Water Pond. Great case for Trick Room, but they have some options to prevent Trick Room from going up. Those options are Chiyu and Fluttermane. Raging Bolt might be able to Oko Fluttermane with Chiyu boost. That could be funny. I can also just go Fluttermane Torkoal. That leaves me in a big trouble against Chiyu. So I want Raging Bolt. Oh, maybe Raging Bolt Torkoal. Is that stupid? I could 
definitely blow something up with that. That might be stupid. I'm gonna thunderclap stuff. Thunderclapping stuff seems like the play. Uh, Fluttermane gets some speed. We don't have a lot of priority. Rillaboom with an AV. Yeah. I think this is the way. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Now if I could just get Trick Room, I would have been fine, but... I don't know if there was a good way to do that. And they don't have a trainer card. Maybe Rillaboom would have been fine, because if they lead Chiyu Flutter, I can Terra Fire it. Lose the Giraffe and take the Flutter main. That is their lead. Speed boosting Flutter. Clap the Chiyu, and we're gonna flamethrower the Fluttermane. The boost from Sun and Terra is enough to Oko unbulked Chiyu. Unless they pull something weird like Terra Grass here. Yeah, it's just their Fluttermane. It's very normal. we knock out the Chi Yu, they don't get the special attack boost, or the special defense drops on my side. No, if there's Sash Chi Yu, I mean... But we get the Thunderclap, and... They are just bulky for some reason, and we lose. Oh, they double Torkoal. I guess that's okay. Why were they so bulky? supposed to be that bulky. Alright, Thunderclap with Chiyu on the field probably takes Fluttermane. If they swap out, man. Could be some problems. And then a nice old Dazzling Gleam is always good to lock into. Nothing wrong with Dazzling Gleam here. Now uh, they do swap Chiyu, their Fluttermane should live. And it is just Glamora. Though, if our Fluttermane's faster, they don't live the double up. Yeah, Chiyu would have helped. Just Icy Wind, okay. Bolt doesn't use his speed stat. Fluttermane is speed boosted anyway. So now I'm back down to neutral. Unless your Chiyu is Scarf. Could it have been? Yeah. Dark Urshifu. It's gonna click Sucker Punch. But I can Thunderclap Glamora. And just Dazzling Gleam again. Right? They didn't Sucker Punch. That's weird. 
Because I should still be faster than you unless you're the scar. And you're not. Okay. And Fluttermane is down. Now, if this is a choice to Chi Yu, it's not getting around the Grassy Glide. If they both have Protect, they both have Protect. If it's a choice to Chi Yu, I should Thunderclap it. I don't think Bolt would go down to a Sucker Punch. And it won't if I fake out the Urshifu anyway. Okay. Urshifu protects before the Chiyu. That means they are a choice Chiyu, and I get the Thunderclap. Excellent. There's no way you're going to be able to attack both of us. All right. All right, Bolt. Okay. Okay, Bolt. Sucker Punch gets you around Thunderclap, so I'm not going to click Thunderclap. I'll Thunderbolt. And I'll Grassy Glide. And you'll go down. Bye! Good game. Oh yeah. Go Bolt. Alright, we've got a... How night? We've got a Rillaboom Ogre Pond Fire. We've got an Urshifu and just a Fluttermane. Really scary team. Mostly because Ogre Pond Fire is terrifying. Fluttermane is really good against most of those things. Except, of course, the Ogre Pond. Ferrigraph seems pretty good here, too. In fact, Fluttermane and Ferrigraph are so good, Torkoal should probably be in the back for Trick Room Sweeping, potentially. Or setting up the sun if I need to get above the Scarf Urshifu and the Chen Pao, which I will be slower than. Unless they're adamant, then I'm fast. I'm faster than adamant Chen Pao before my speed boost. Uh, and then, if Ogre Pond is that scary, I kind of need Bolt. Bolt can actually take a hit from that thing. Not much else can. Bolt does... okay in general. Good against Rillaboom, good against Urshifu, good against Ogre Pond. Bad against Dragonite, bad against Chen Pao, bad against Fluttermane. But we'll see. Any chip on Fluttermane and Thunderclap can take it. Um, with a Helping Hand boost or something. Oh, no trainer card! Boo! Well, I won the pregame of having a better trainer card. Yeah, and they go straight with Ogre Pond. That's terrifying. They can't fake out. They can't double glide. What they can do is wood hammer and delete something. Helping Hand Shadow Ball has a good chance of knocking out their Ogre Pond, but not guaranteed. Just Shadow Ball has basically no chance of doing it. Doubling Ferrigarath has a really good chance of getting rid of Ferrigarath. Ah. Okay, they're gonna burn a Terra right away. And it's the Ogre Pond. I'm terrified. Oh, I'm so scared. That thing's really scary. Okay. Their attack is boosted. They've got the Fire Terra. Oh. Come on, Shadow Ball. This is not guaranteed, but please do it for me. 
please, baby. No! And it's a crit, so we lose both? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Well, that's really bad. Okay. Terrible start. Get, not getting the roll we needed with Shadow Ball. Getting crit by Ivy Cudgel. Oh. One of my mods would still be alive without that crit, but it's alright. We're not completely out of it. Oh, and they have Chen Pao Dragon in the back, too. That's gonna be really rough. Okay. Thunderclap will stop them from attacking. And then I get to erupt. Yeah. Yep, you have to spiky shield. And then presumably you do some damage to Torkoal so the eruption doesn't do as much. Yep. Okay. I get it. I didn't want a flamethrower in case they went for, like, follow me. Really not much I can do. Okay, they go for the grassy glide to get around the thunderclap. I knew you'd do something. And I outspeed your Rillaboom, that's pretty good. As bad as this is, I did get down to a 2v2. Oh boy. What was the play turn one then? Bring in Bolt. And do something? I don't know. Fluttermane and Dragonite. Well, I have the delete button for Fluttermain, so I might as well click that while I still can. No way are they going to play games. Get the boost. And... Get hit by East Speed. And. <laughs> Bye, Fluttermain! <laughs> For all the good that does me. Haven't revealed Protect on Bolt, but obviously I have it. My win con is Flamethrower Burns. Yep. That's my only win condition, Flamethrower Burns. And they predict anyway.
Still can go for the flamethrower burn. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess my win condition was predicting them to extreme speed the Torkoal. That was incredibly bold. That was insane of them. Get the burn? No burn. Do I take this one? Nope, I don't. Alright, good game. Mm. Just couldn't come back from that. Alright, good game. Incineroar, Rillaboom, double fake out. Their own Ferrigarath, Galapdos, Amoongus, Fluttermane. Fluttermane, Torkoal seems good, unless they lead Rillaboom and Incineroar. That'd be a weird thing for them to do, right? Raging Bolt seems really good. Just in general. Uh, and then something that can handle their Fluttermane well. Either Rillaboom or Ogre Pond. I'm leaning more Ogre Pond. It's nice to have a Grass type for Amoongus as well, and Ogre Pond threatens it pretty good. Yeah, I like this. Um, Trick Room and Eruption would be okay. But they have an Amoongus. Like, Amoongus doesn't stop Torkoal, but if they save Terra for it, it can live in Eruption. It can spore everything else, making it hard to get up Trick Room. And they have their own Ferrigraph. Oh, and they like their Ferrigraph in a Safari Ball? That's cool. I wish I had a Ferrigraph in a Safari Ball. And they lead their Ferrigraph. Okay. Tempted to click Gleam Eruption. They wouldn't click Trick Room though, would they? Because as much as I want to commit hard to the Zapdos, it could like Terra. No, I'm not going to commit Terra here. But I am going to double spread move. Yeah, they're going to tear defensively on Zapdos, I guess. Yeah, it's Terra Fire. There was nothing I could have done. Could have hard read that and gone for like Earth Power, Shadow Ball. A oh, Ferrigraph just protects. Smart play. We're gonna see what the Zapdos is all about. It's all about brave burning Fluttermanes. That's a good thing to be about. At least I didn't waste Terra doing that. An eruption should do a good chunk. I get that you're a fire type now, but this is still damage. Oh man, you barely hanging on. I don't get to confirm whether there's Zapdos' Scarf. But I can't use priority moves anyway with Ferrigarap on the field. I think I need to go into Bolt. They can't do too much damage to it. They do if they are locked into Brave Bird, they'll knock out themselves. You also flame throw it. Zapdos. <laughs> I'm not as concerned with Ferrigarath. And if it knocks itself out, yeah, Flamethrower will slide over. Okay. 
Interesting that you wanted to trade Zapdos there to get Chip on Torkoal. I guess you were choice. Maybe you were just giving up the Zapdos. I wonder if this double up gets it. Ooh, I think it does. No Citrus Berry either. And Torkoal hangs on, so we get it. Cool. Getting rid of Farigarath. While we have our Thunderclapper. That's great. Uh, but we lost all of our Fluttermane and most of our Torkoal to take out there too. We preserved Terra though. Maybe we can surprise them with something. And we're gonna have to. Oh, it's Incineroar. I want the Helping Hand Terra Thunderclap so bad on that Fluttermane. Doesn't always kill Fluttermane if I don't commit all of it. And the fake out's going at Bolt anyway. I think I have to give up Torkoal. Torkoal's never gonna get another hit off. an easy Dazzling Gleam fake out turn for them. But alright, that means... I don't think Dazzling Gleam is going to be two-shotting Ogre Pond. I think Raging Bolt can take a Dazzling Gleam from here. Fortunately, the sun is boosting their special attack, so that's not a guarantee. Terra Electric Thunderbolt into Incineroar, plus Ivy Cudgel, might just do it. Of course, if Gleam does knock out... Oh, they already used Terra, so it's not a Terra Dazzling Gleam. Oh, it's a Flutter Protect! Oh, that's amazing! That also means you're not spec, so I was gonna live. Bonk. And Krizap. Bye, Incineroar! Aw, oh, yeah. And now I'm content to just clap and cudgel you. Props for you, too, for staying in it, though. Yep, clap doesn't quite do it with all those boosts. You need the helping hand. Dazzling Gleam did take Raging Bolt after two ticks of life orb. But that doesn't mean it would necessarily have knocked out the turn before. I would have had 40 more HP. And of course, Ivy Cudgel's gonna do it. Bang! Bye! Love it. All right, Cress, the regular Ursaluna, Primarina, Incineroar, Ogre Pond Fire, and Okie Dogi. They want to set up Trick Room. They're going to have to contend with Torkoal, but Primarina can do that. They're going to want to set up Trick Room. <sighs> Trick Room isn't that bad. Trick Room plus Fire Ogre Pond, that's bad. I don't like seeing that. Fire Ogre Pond is one of the worst things they could have. Especially if it's like bulky. 
All right. Um. Honestly, what about Bolt for Rigoraph? It's an unorthodox lead. It's not something I usually pull out. But it blocks Fake Out. Raging Bolt does well into Fire Ogre Pond. But then if they want to double into Ferrigarath, they just get it. I need Torkoal just in case they get Trick Room up and start sweeping. And then in the last, is it Rillaboom? Or is it my own Ogre Pond? I think it's Fluttermane. It's Fluttermane, because I'm running out of time and I don't know what the right choice is. Is it really Fluttermane? Outside of Trick Room, Fluttermane can do a ton of damage. Oh, it's a tiny little bolt! Oh, that's a great picture. He's like the Raging Bolt, but he's tiny. Ensign Okie Dogie. Who's more important to blow up? <laughs> Definitely the Incineroar. And I'm not gonna set up Trick Room for ya. Yeah, Okie Dokie shouldn't be able to knock anything out here, except if it's like Terra Dark knockoff. <laughs> Cineroar should go down to a helping handed Thunderbolt. Nope, this is a regular knockoff. See, I told you you needed Terra Dark. Oh, that was a crit. Terra Dark would do that. Okay. I can live Terra Dark knockoff. Nice. And Incineroar's gone. Bye bye Gave him the chair. Who's that? Ogre Pond. Don't like seeing Ogre Pond. Ooh, they could throw some big moves at Bolt, couldn't they? Well, I don't know what to do here. I want a Helping Hand D-Pulse. But in a way, I want a Helping Hand Thunderclap the Okie Dogie so it can't attack. Oh, it's a little risky, but I I'm going for it. No! No! Hmm, mm mm mm. The risk did not pay off. I guess if I was worried about, worried about Ivy Cudgel, I could have clapped that slot. Does this knock out, though? Maybe it does. Yeah, Thunderclap is a failure. You wouldn't tear a Ivy Cudgel unless you're going after Bolt. That does knock out. Mm. Now I'm in a real tough spot. Okay, what they can do is protect Trick Room. Get Helping Hand Shadow Ball that only knocks them out most of the time if they're no bolt. I could Shadow Ball Psychic.
Ugh. I don't know. I don't know what the right play is here. Okay, they didn't protect, so Shadow Ball's pretty good. Oh, and they live on one HP! Help me use that Trick Room. Please set Trick Room. I would love you forever if you just set Trick Room. Nope. Ah, good game. I guess technically it's not over, but... Uh, it's entirely over. Okay, you throw by uh, letting me knock out Ogre Pond and setting Trick Room. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> Oh boy, this is going to do like 80%. Okay, we live that. Don't know how we're ever going to beat Okie Doki. You're really not supposed to forfeit in these, but I think I need to now. <clears throat> Yeah, you... What do they do? Misclick Trick Room and go for a bulk up? Because they're stupid. I really should forfeit. Yeah, okay. Y you beat me. Good game. Shadow Ball never knocks out those Ogre Puns. Everybody's putting more bulk than me. Alright, good game. Alright, we're back. You made it. If you made it this far through the video, you probably liked it, so why don't you help me out by leaving a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Anyways, there's the rental code for you. Try this team out if you like it. And I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>